The BMW 8 Series lineup is growing yet again with the recent release of the Grand Coupe. Coming just weeks after the release of the M8, the 8 Series Grand Coupe is really rounding out the 8 Series lineup and showing BMW's dedication to this flagship line. Despite maybe a misleading name, the Grand Coupe is essentially a four-door sedan, so it lengthens the wheelbase of the regular 8 Series Coupe and adds two doors and makes it a true four-person car because that back seat in the 8 Series Coupe, even though it's a big vehicle, it's not usable for anything more than a bag. On kind of a big picture note, BMW bringing the Grand Coupe up to the 8 Series for the first time may really be an indication of changing consumer tastes and how the auto industry, the market I should say, really wants a practical car that can do it all. And having a proper four door, four to five seater car that's also high performance and luxurious, it, it really checks off a lot of boxes on people's lists and that's, just, that's what the consumer wants now more than a two-door sports car where they still need a different daily driver or family hauler in the garage. So if you're interested in the full specs and all the changes between the Grand Coupe and the regular Coupe, uh, make sure you go ahead and check it out on our website. We have a more detailed story there. You can also find us on Apple News and we'll have all that information there. But in this video, I just kind of want to get you the key pieces of information from this release, which include the wheelbase is longer, there's more headroom and more shoulder room in the back seat. The roof is kind of less sloping, I guess, uh, compared to the coupe. It holds its height for a little bit longer before tapering off. It still looks extremely nice in my opinion. I just, I love the look of the 8 series. Seeing it in person I think really helps make you realize it's not just a 6 series that's a little bit bigger. It's like, this is a big vehicle, this is, this has a certain presence to it and I don't know. I, I'm a big fan personally, as you can tell, but I really am a fan of the Grand Coupe because it really has that usable back seat, so now there's enough headroom too, so you can actually sit in it, and it still has the performance. In terms of performance, the A-Series Grand Coupe will be releasing with an 840i, an 840i xDrive, and an M850i xDrive. Uh, so kind of interesting there, just like the coupe version, the M850i is only available in all-wheel drive. It really helps you put the power down. Obviously it's still rear-wheel drive bias, so it still has a sporty feel, but it's also very usable and having all-wheel drive is a pretty nice benefit in a vehicle this size. But if you step down a little bit to the 840i, you can get that in rear-wheel drive only, or you still have the option of xDrive. So the M850 will still come with the 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 as you would expect it's in the normal coupe version as well. That's good for 523 horsepower and can propel the large Grand Coupe to 60 miles an hour in just 3.7 seconds which is pretty insane if you think about it. But even the regular 840i is no slouch either. It still comes with the 3 liter inline 6 twin turbo and that is still good to propel the vehicle to 60 miles an hour in under 5 seconds and even a little bit lower at 4.6 seconds if you have X drive. Just like its two-door brother, the Grand Coupe relies on lightweight materials to really keep the car light on its feet, make it feel agile despite its size, and get these kind of crazy performance numbers out of a vehicle that's quite massive, honestly. And similar, as you'd expect throughout the A-Series, the inside is very luxurious, very high-tech, and is, is simply the flagship model for BMW. It's beautiful, it has all the bells and whistles, and now it has four doors, so you can use it every day. As I mentioned, head over to our website if you want to learn more about the 8 Series Grand Coupe or stay up to date on day-to-day -day news stories across the automotive industry. And if you found this video entertaining, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as we bring you some of the hottest stories in the automotive industry each week straight to your subscription list. So follow us here and I hope you enjoyed this video. But let me know in the comments down below what you think of the new Grand Coupe. And in the meantime, I'll keep covering the automotive news and we'll see you in the next video.